so now that we took a break, it's actually part two of our vlog. Like, I cannot even see anything. <laughs> but it's okay. Weird facial expression. Yeah, and so. This is the second part of our vlog, no? We went to grocery, and we just rested a bit from our ultrasound appointment. We were the happiest parents. That's true, because seeing our baby moving, Allah, it was unbelievable. Yeah, it was surreal, baby. Uh, oh, oh, surreal. And now, we are on our way to grocery because... <laughs> Your hair like is not literally. And we are now on our way to a grocery to do some grocery because we don't have grocery. Of course we have. I know. And then we are not sure what we will eat, so we will think what we should eat. I know it will broccoli and pork belly, no? We we do not have pork belly. Yeah, but we will get because you will cook broccoli and with pork belly. Pork belly. Okay, my, my forehead Go. is so sucked for the elite. Oh. What are you looking for, Palanga? Huh? Are you on a mission to get your straw cleaner? This is what I need. But then you also have to buy those straws. Mm -hmm. So I will. Ah. There's another onion because yeah because we bought a couple of these and it's was sira. Is there anything else that you need? You. Why man me? Tara, I'm good now. Hello baby. Show me your buntis face. Hello. Please don't come in. You choose your avocado. Hello, you choose because you better be choosing. See, one that is good, ripe. Yeah. <clears throat> and one that isn't. Seriously, baby, I, I think that's sweet. So, Nandita Nasi Asawa, grocery. Hello. Hmm? For your. Is it like a softer one? Yeah. Ah, maybe, ah, maybe we can find with those buns. Oh. Because I also think that's like a setup, right? Mm -hmm. I, I prefer it like this one, Palanga. And let's see, maybe I also get a couple of donuts because the last one was so set up. Bibi? Palanga, um, should I also get donuts? Sure, if you want to eat them. Mm. There's a sour looking for something sour. Um, I don't know, maybe you told <laughs> maybe you told those. Um I don't here's sour. But I'm not here sour. Here here Ghani. Sour fruits. Ah oh, but that's the one that's the one which is sour. Or this one here. This one is big. So you na nga after many days later and after that clip hindi ko na po siya napatuloy and here I am right now today is June 20 it's a Monday and um, I just want to update kung anong nangyari during that time so kung maaalala nyo ang um, last clip was nasa grocery hand kami ni Karsten and um, that was the day nung pumunta kami sa OB 
And we were very happy because of course, naka-receive kami ng good news na sinasabi ng OB na normal naman daw ang lahat ng measurements ng baby. But there is um, an adjustment na dapat namin gawin. So, originally, my last day of menstruation period was March 5 of 2022. And actually, talagang na record ko siya because meron akong application that is called Flow. So every time nagkakaroon ako ng period, inlalagay ko doon. And actually, we're not really trying talaga ni Carson during that time na magkaroon ng baby. It's just that it happened when we tried the first time. So we're very blessed to have that. So I, I was quite sure the March 5 ang aking last menstruation. However, um, based sa measurement ng baby, talagang nagme-measure siya ng um, 13 weeks nung pagpunta namin. And during the time, 14 weeks and 3 days na ako supposed to be. So then, ang sabi ng doctor, finally sabi niya na magma-minus na lang daw kami ng 1 week and ginawa niyang March 12 ang aking last menstruation day. Hindi ko alam kung um, bakit ganon. Hindi ko din sure kung normal lang ba ang ganon. Um, since sure naman talaga ako sa last day ng menstruation but I believe sabi naman ng doctor na normal naman ng baby and wala naman kaming dapat alalahanin so we're really really happy about that and then nung time na yun is umuwi kami ni Carson and then after resting like maybe an hour or so umalis kami ulit para mag grocery and nung nasa sobrang init ng araw na yun and nung nasa grocery han kami nung nasa candy area um, for some reason parang nahihilo ako na, na hindi ko maintindihan ba di ko alam kung anong nangyari sa akin and then nung nasa meat area na kami namimili na kami ng meat Parang na, na feel ko na parang ang paningin ko is nangingitim. So, I said to Carson na pwede bang umuwi na tayo? Because hindi talaga maganda ang pakiramdam ko. And um, what he did was, nagdali-dali siyang kumuha ng mga talagang kailangan lang namin. Hindi na kami nakakuha ng mga um, groceries na iba dahil gusto ko na talaga umuwi. So around the cashier area, talagang nafeel ko na feeling ko mahihimatay talaga ako. Nagdidilim na ang paningin ko and I do not understand why. Hindi naman ako gutom. Kumain nga kami ng Chinese food during the time. Uminom naman ako ng tubig. Hindi ko maintindihan kung bakit ganun ang naging feeling ko. So feeling ko na talagang mahihimatay na ako. Lumabas ako agad-agad. Nagdali-dali akong maglakad sa sakaya ko lang na speed and then nung lumabas ako is wala akong makitang mauupuan so parang sasahig na ako nakaupo and then dali-dali din si Carsten na pumunta sa akin pinainom niya ako ng iced tea which is meron kami and then parang pinakain niya din ako ng maliit na donut so that was the time na akala ko mahihimatay talaga <laughs> So that was the experience and after that day, palagi akong nagkakaroon ng migraine. So that's why um, I said na Allah kailangan kong pahinga. And nung pinakalas na vlog na na-upload ko, nagkaka-migraine ako nun. But talagang um, pinilit ko lang na matapos siya and ma-upload. The thing with this pregnancy is that of course, hindi ako pwedeng <clears throat> palaging inom ng inom ng mga gamot. Um, I know paracetamol is quite safe for um, the baby but of course, hindi naman ako yung palaging umiinom ng gamot. So, yun ang nangyari sa akin. Anyways, I also want to um, update kung ano ang mga sinabi ng doctor. So, first, nag-measure siya ng mga um, ng measurement ni baby. Kung okay ba ang kanyang length, ang kanyang ulo, ang kanyang brain, um, ano pa ba, ang kanyang abdominal or abdomen nag-measure din siya nag-measure din siya sa legs ng baby and with that parang nagtitingin-tingin ako ba ano kaya ang gender ni baby and also we had a survey with you guys kung ano sa tingin nyo ang ano ni baby gender but honestly we still don't know yet hindi pa sinabi ng doctor kung ano ang gender but marami sa inyo ang nag-think na girl siya 
Uh, for me, I was thinking it was a boy, but sometimes I'm thinking it's a girl. So we will see na lang, no? We will finally know for sure around next month of July because July pa ang next na appointment namin. So for sure, July pa namin malalaman kung ano ang gender ni baby. Ah, nag-check din siya ng nasal bone ni baby because ang mga baby daw na may nasal bone, and there's a big factor na um, wala siyang trisomy 21 or what they call as Down syndrome or mongolis mongolism mongolism bang tawag so um sabi ni ni OB na meron naman daw nasal bone si baby and meron din siyang may measure dito i think sa batok na area is it like nucal nucal trans local translucency it is a sonograph is the sonographic appearance of a collection of fluid under the skin behind a fetal neck in the first trimester of pregnancy so isa din yan sa mini measure ng OB kung tama ba ang measurement and then luckily um, the baby is really doing well and then uh, sobrang haka happy lang din kasi sabi ng doctor ang galing daw magposing ng baby because whenever he tries to take some photograph talagang nagpo-posing ang baby ng maayos na parang na-form talaga siya as a baby po. so it's a very happy moment for me and we were really really very happy for that so yun ang update uh, nagkakaroon ako ng migraines na sobrang sobra i am planning to um, make a summary na mga na, na experience ko for the first trimester so um, kung kayo man ang mahaka experience or mabubuntis and I'm just sharing my experience you will have someone to relate to or mahaka experience ba kayo ng the same na na experience ko so I think that's gonna be the update and I am I'm just trying to update kung meron akong mga of course, my update. Kung mapapansin niyo man wala akong masyadong video is because sobrang boring lang din ang araw ko, guys. What I do is I read some books. I am um, just resting. I'm having the worst migraines. <laughs> and yun lang ang pinagagawa ko. So I don't I do not have a lot of things that I do. That's why I'm not uh, vlogging during the time. But of course, kung meron man akong mga updates and things na ginagawa, I'm really also trying to do some videos. So that's gonna be it in my update for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you on our next video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell for YouTube algorithm. Bye guys! See you on our next video.